Read in Genesis 29. An amazing thing popped out to me. Praise the Lord, praise the Holy Spirit. When Jesus said, He that drinks of me will thirst no more, and I give him rivers of flowing water, and that the Holy Spirit fills us up with rivers of flowing water. I've I seen something here in Genesis 29 with Jacob and Rebecca. Um, I'm sorry. Rape with Jacob and Rachel. And um, that was really interesting to me. Okay. Um, long story short, Jacob goes to uh, his uncle Laban, which is his mother, Rebecca's brother, to marry one of his daughters. While he's waiting at the watering well, he see, well when he arrives um, in the land where his uncle Laban was living, uh, at Paddan, Paddan Aram, he notices three flocks of sheep waiting to be watered, meaning, um, you know, given water for the day so they can continue grazing and eating. And, um, when he's uh when he arrives, there's another group of guys that show up, and he, they say, he asked them if they know Laban, and they said, yeah, he's a very wealthy man. And while they're sitting there talking, uh, Rachel comes in because she was a shepherd actually, and they say, here's his his daughter now coming. He immediately meets her, kisses her, and um tears come to his eyes and he says I'm your cousin um, I'm Rebecca's son and she gets real excited but here's here's the most amazing part here's what I'm talking about it's a beautiful love story where I, I believe that kind of represents Christ and his bride with Jacob and Rachel and the whole way that it works out with Rebecca uh, presenting everything to Isaac the father and even like she knew how to dress the dress the meal and dress uh, Jacob to be like Esau and so he would get the blessing and that represents how we are clothed in Christ in front of God the father and when he inspects us like Isaac inspected Jacob he only sees Jesus his only begotten son perfect and blameless sinless but moving into this when Jesus said I give you rivers of flowing water and he that drinks of me will thirst no more remember when Jesus was in the tomb now see this well every day they would recover it with they would cover it back over with this huge stone and then all the shepherds of the day would bring their flocks there and they wouldn't move that stone for any of their sheep to drink until all the shepherds arrive and all the sheep. That was their custom. And so, like when when I when uh, when Jacob shows up, there's other guys waiting there, or they show up when he's sitting there waiting, and they, you know they explain to him, you know, we don't roll the stone away until all the sheep are here and all the shepherds, right? So anyway, Rachel shows up, and he gets excited, and he knows that it's his cousin and. It's his uncle's sheep, so he rolls this huge stone away, and he, he waters the flock. When Jesus said this about the flock, and when he said that those who drink of me will thirst no more, I believe he was also, in, 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 in Hebrew terms, making reference to the watering wells that the shepherds would, would roll these huge stones away. So their sheep could drink. Jesus was making a reference also to Easter Sunday, or I know there's discrepancies on exactly what day it is. Let's just say it was Passover, and then when Jesus rose from the grave and God removed that, rolled that stone away, so that the glory could be shown, and Jesus was in his um his renewed body, his resurrected body. 
what he was saying was, when I'm resurrected, when that stone is removed from that tomb, out will come the, the, the living water forever and ever, eternally, for eternity. And those who drink of this water, those sheep that come and wait for the shepherd, the one true shepherd, the good shepherd, to roll that stone away once and for all, so that all can come and drink, all who want to come and drink from the Lord, will thirst no more. We don't, I never understood that. I never, I mean, I know what the Lord was saying, but I don't, I never understood the true depth of it. And I don't think a lot of us do, especially American Christians, understand what was, I don't even know, you know, the Hebrews don't, they, the Jews don't believe Christ is the Messiah. So I don't know if they put two and two together there. But we know Jesus is the Messiah. And now reading this from a Jewish perspective, and just because it explains to me in my Bible here that this was the custom of the day. That they would roll these huge stones away from this well. And then all the sheep would drink. Is not the Lord the good shepherd? Are we not his sheep? And when that stone was rolled away from that tomb. Forever and ever. Do we not have the living water of Christ Jesus. The resurrected Lord. Who paid for all our sins and finished it all. It is finished. And those who drink of Jesus Christ, we thirst no more. Thirst no more for things of the world. We are satisfied in Christ forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.